Hello YouTube, welcome to my video. I wanted to get this out as soon as I can. Great news, Dallas, Cardano, Ada, Charles Hoskin, Hoskinson, Cardano Foundation, they just released Ledger Capability on Dallas. Now, Ada is 90% of my investment and it's really made me nervous for how long I haven't had to be able to on a third party device such as a Ledger. I got the Ledger X. And today's the day. Now, if you don't have Dallas, uh, you can skip to, let's call it part three of this video. I'll put a timestamp on the bottom because it looks like you can't auto update your Dallas. You have to go to the website, manual download, and upgrade. So you see here it says follow instructions and manual update. So we're going to click that and it will automatically launch the website. However, me being a suspicious and a cryptocurrency holder, I'm always suspicious, whatever. Once the website launches, you want to drag it over to whatever screen you know you're recording on and click the download. I started playing with a PGP key. If you guys want to know how to do a PGP key, it authenticates the download and makes sure that you're downloading what uh, IOHK wants you to download. I'm more than happy to, let, to do a video on that. You guys let me know what you want. Make sure that Dallas is not currently running or it will fail as you see here. Once it starts installing, it's a relatively quick install. want to take a moment and say, yes, I know it's IO, input out global. Is it IO? Is it IOG? Anyway, it is no longer IOHK. So I just want to make that out since <laughs> I've said that a couple times this video already. Now, while I am uploading and updating this, I wanted to check my ledger to make sure it has the latest firmware as well my ledger did so i didn't have to update it check your ledger before uh well or during this process that way you can be prepared All right, well, so we start the process as if you're making a normal wallet or a, a new wallet. You want to unlock your Ledger device, make sure it's plugged in, load the Cardano, Cardano application. It will ask to export keys and you authorize that. This is probably the longest part of the installation is letting your blockchain download. Now I have a decent speed. I think I have somewhere like 40 megabytes down. Uh, 10 up my bottleneck is uh, my hard drive so this may vary per person and because of that I'm gonna fast forward through this part now I want to show you moving funds from one side to another but I don't want to put out how much uh, 
Cardano, I have. So it's normal. You go and get your Ledger wallet, hit the receive, copy that address, go to your HODL wallet, send, send one. I'd send 100. I'd send 100 uh, Cardano to the Ledger wallet. Make sure it gets there first. That way, if you mess up, or even 10, 10 would be fine because then you have enough to send it back if you want. At that point, I unplugged my uh, ledger and I was not able to send it back until then. Second point, don't forget to stake in your new wallet. Same process as last time. You do have to go through a lot of probably six or seven authorizations on your ledger before your staking actually goes through it. Just continue to authorize through it. Um, and last but not least, do not delete your old wallet if you are staking because, just remember, it takes two epics for your old wallet's staking to fully resolve, so you'd be missing two of those epics and that could be a lot in the future. So, uh, like I said, I wanted to show you, but amounts are all over, and you could only have one wallet per ledger device. So I cannot just, you know, not easily tonight just create a new one just for this uh, testing environment. Thanks. Have a great day. I hope this helped a little bit. It's really easy. And thanks. Subscribe, like, I'll see you around.